back to my channel and if you're new to my channel hey I'm Simone Slater I'm a fashion and beauty blogger living in South Korea now today for this video we're going to be talking all about my hair I have a lot of people asking me questions how I maintain healthy hair what products do I use and how do I straighten my hair and all that jazz so this video is just going to be talking all about my hair what products I use what heat tools I use and just how I maintain healthy looking hair so if you want to see this video then just keep watching also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you become a part of my canvas fashions YouTube family I would love to have you part of the family remember it is free to subscribe so you'll get a notification every time I upload upload a new video which is super awesome because who doesn't want to know when I upload a video and I'm trying to upload at least two videos a week so if you are keen for that then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe I'll leave the link down below so let's just get started with this video okay so firstly I'm gonna talk about what I'm wearing now so these are hair extensions that I've had for about three years now. Estelle Secret sent them to me just when I started YouTube, maybe four years ago. And I fell in love with the brand and I fell in love with their hair extensions. Not only are they soft and real human hair, but they last very long. I've dyed these extensions maybe three times since I've... Uh, since I've had them and they haven't shed as much as I thought they would with normal extensions also they're very soft and they blend in so well with my hair my hair isn't that long it's probably just um, like just right here so um, as you can see this is my hair and this is the extension so you can see the length there's not um, a big difference but it blends in very well with my hair so when I want to have long voluptuous hair then I'll wear my hair extensions or if I want just a simple everyday look then I'll just do my hair normally so that's the hair extensions that I wear people always ask about that I'll leave the link down below where you can purchase these extensions they're a bit on the pricey side but they're very good investments and I'll leave alternatives of where you can buy other type of extensions from another thing I want to talk about is my actual real hair so I suffer with uh, well don't suffer but um, I have gray hair and I always like get gray roots like after a month or two of dyeing my hair now uh, it is genetic so I can't do anything about it so I've been dyeing my hair since I was in like grade 11 that's when I started going gray um, my mom also had that issue and so did her mom so it is a genetics it is is it is in our genetics and I can't run from it all I can do is just dye my hair so since I've done the Korean magic perm I was told that not to continually dye the hair especially on the ends where the magic perm was now what I do is when I go gray I use box dye which is the black box dye you can use any brand whatever suits you just also test your hair before you use it and then I apply it on my roots and yeah just wherever I want the black dye to target on my gray hair I don't push the product throughout my whole hair just because I don't want my hair to be damaged from the box dye also box dye tends to damage your hair very very badly so I, I advise not to always dye your hair if you want to dye your hair continually then go to a salon there aren't many English salons here in Korea so it's hard to find a salon that does exactly what you want them to do I did find one salon which did the magic perm for my hair and they were really really good but also very expensive so if you want to achieve that look then also up to do it at home but also test it out on your hair um yeah so that's black hair i have very very black hair and i've been dyeing my hair black all my life and yeah so that's why it looks shiny and glossy i think black hair looks very very good on people whether you fair skin or your dark skin it just is a very complimentary color on skin tones and just yeah makes everything just look brighter and yeah Okay, so 
Another thing I want to talk about is hair products that I use. Now the shampoo that I've currently been using, when I was back home I used to use the whole Moroccan oil range which I couldn't bring out here and I need to actually get my hands on it here. I've heard it's very expensive to purchase here so I've opted to buy like drugstore brands until I managed to save up to buy some Moroccan oil and treat myself. But I've been using the Dove Hair Therapy Oil Nourishing Oil Care Shampoo and Conditioner. This brand I know everyone talks about it and they love Dove I love Dove it smells amazing it's very nourishing to the hair and it's done wonders for my hair since I've been using it I haven't had an issue with it I do suffer with dry scalp since I've moved to Korea I don't know why because my scalp used to be very very oily back in South Africa so I'm trying to find something that can target my hair what I normally do is do a coconut oil hair treatment and I sleep with the coconut oil just to nourish my scalp and my split ends at the end because of continually using heat on your hair your split ends are just gonna get worse so that's what I advise is using coconut oil but yeah so the Dove shampoo and conditioner range is very good this is the oil care nourishing range also since I did the Korean magic perm straightening they gave me a conditioner to use just to help maintain the hair and to lock in the, the straightener and I guess not to dry out my hair and damage it so they gave me this exermide PPT treatment and it is it's got the doctor thing in so it's a clinical clinical or clinical but doctor type thing um, this bag I'll show you how much I've used now I did this magic perm back in October and that's how much I've used of the product so a little bit of this goes a long way. What I normally do is when I'm in the shower, I wash my hair, then I apply this on and I put the shower cap over my hair. And that also just locks, locks it in. And I tend to use it like as a hair mask. So I just wrap my hair in a bun, put the shower cap on and then carry on in the shower do what I need to do if I need to shave, put a face mask on or whatever and then I rinse the conditioning mask treatment off and that just, it smells amazing and my hair feels so 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 soft after using it. Like my hair feels brand new, like I've just gone into a salon and they've done a whole lot of business to my hair, that's how it feels. So this treatment is very good. I'll leave a link down below of where you can get it because I know I spoke to my family back home about it and they were trying to get a hold on it but they couldn't so I'll see if I can find it online for you guys because I really swear by this it's amazing and it does wonders for your hair another mask that I also use is the Tresemme Platinum Strength Deep Con Conditioning Treatment now I'm always done with this it's very good it smells amazing I don't always use this just because I've been using this treatment at the moment so yeah when I tend to forget about this one then I use this and it also is a deep conditioning treatment and I love deep conditioning treatments just because as I said my scalp is very dry and my ends are very dry and anything to combat that dryness and to just make it more nourished and um, healthier looking I will use so conditioning treatments are very good hair masks coconut oil castor oil stuff like that is very good for your hair argan oil and Moroccan oil very very good for your hair especially if your hair is prone to damage and heat damage and coloring and stuff like that you really need to use products on your hair that will help nourish it and just keep it looking um, healthy yeah um, the two oils that I want to talk about is the Moroccan oil treatment which is what I use after I come out of the shower before I blow dry my hair I put this on my hair as well as the Biosense Therapy Oil Miracle Oil now these two oils I use just like a pea size of each and I rub it in my hands to make it warm and then I apply it only on the ends of my hair not to my scalp because these oils are very heavy they're gonna um, bring down your roots and make your roots very oily especially if you're using heat on it so I suggest using these products towards the ends of your hair so like 
from here all the way down just pushing the product into these parts of your hair that will also moisturize it and just um, push the product using your hands as well just work it into your hands and make your hands warm and then apply the oil and yeah, work it into your hair and it, will, it smells amazing and also makes your hair look sh look very shiny and also help to prevent heat damage on your hair so yeah i use this before i blow dry my hair and then after i've ironed my hair i apply this again to the ends and it just locks in the shine locks in the the straightness of the hair or whatever hairstyle that you want to do for your hair and yeah it's been working for me so i love it and the last product that i want to talk about is the tresemme um, UV filter heat defense styling spray now I use this as a heat spray just because I use an iron on my hair as heat now you want to use stuff like this just to protect your hair from heat damage especially if you're going in the Sun or if you're using hot tools or heat tools on your hair um, your hair can get damaged very very badly from heat and it's always good to prevent that so using heat resistant products and oils and stuff like that to protect your hair from heat damage is very good so almost this is like a sunblock for your hair which is what you need because you wouldn't go out in the sun without sunblock so why would you do that to your hair so yeah I always swear by using heat um, heat styling sprays just to prevent your hair from heat damage the last two things I want to talk about is my heat tools that I use. Now to blow dry my hair, ever since I did the Korean Magic Perm, I don't blow dry my hair as in blow dry it straight with a hot brush or something like that. I finger dry my hair. Now the hair dryer that I use is this EHC hair dryer. I bought this at Macro back in South Africa and it works for me all the time. I just love how efficient it is and inexpensive it was and it gets so hot and it also gets so cold so it's the best of both worlds. Now I use the hair dryer on the lowest setting, on the coolest setting and then on the highest power and what I do is I just take my hair dryer like this and I do this to my hair with the cool air on it and finger dry my hair until my whole hair is quite dry and then I use my hair iron to iron it straight. Doing that option also helps prevent your hair from splitting, from heat damage and just applying too much heat on your hair. With the cooling step setting this is also going to lock in the moisture in your hair as well and also lock in whatever products that you put in your hair. With heat if you're applying heat on your hair and then you're applying another heated product on your hair, it's just going to be so much heat on your hair and just cause more heat damage than you already have. So using a cool setting on your hair dryer is very good. If you have frizzy type hair, like my roots are very frizzy, I tend to just take the hair dryer like at this angle with this part and just push it down in this direction and that also helps just straighten out the roots but you don't really need your roots per like tight straight because you're going to be using the the iron to straighten it so that's what i advise um, use your hair dryer on a cooling setting and then apply another heated tool on just because it works for me and i don't know if it'll work for you depending on your hair type but Try it out and let me know. I'd love to know if you try this method and if it works for you. The last heat tool that I want to talk about is my GHD. This is my baby. I've had this for so many years. I got this for my 18th birthday, I think, or my 21st. I think it was my 18th or my 21st and I've had it for, and I'm going to be 27 in a month. So I've had this baby for very, very long and it hasn't let me down. It is like, I think this was the first GHD that came out. I'm, I'm sure of it because it's still the small, thin type GHD. What does it say? Even the branding has rubbed off. But yeah, so I really, really love this GHD. It just does amazing jobs for me it's the ceramic plated ghd it's a thin barrel and i just love this one just because it gets in your roots as well so yeah really love this swear by it and if you don't own a ghd you don't have to have a ghd to make your hair straight you can use any iron that 
has heat on it and then yeah straighten it so what I do is I just take a small piece like this when my my iron is hot I go to my root go one two three four and then pull it all the way down and that's my hair straight I, I don't focus on the ends of my hair just because it is straight from the Korean magic perm so I focus more on my roots so that's why I put the JHD I hold it more on my roots and then I work it all the way down to my ends and that's what works with for me my hair always stays straight everyone asks how my hair is so straight and like so sleek and that's what I do sometimes I'll take a comb and I'll hold the comb here with the iron and I'll work it down just so that air can get through and just push it push the, the heat through the hair but if I'm feeling lazy then I just you know do that method that I showed you and it doesn't take me long to blow dry my hair on a cool setting takes me about 15 minutes to iron my hair takes about 20 minutes so it's not a long process compared to when I was staying back home and I didn't have the Korean magic perm it took me about two and a half hours to iron my hair which is missions upon missions now it's so easy to get up in the morning if I'm going to work and I have a bit of time on I can go into the shower wash my hair finger dry my hair and iron it and my hair is good to go for that day another thing I want to talk about is how I keep my hair straight for at least a week now people are going to think like a week why would you not wash your hair for a week sometimes my hair just looks amazing that you don't need to wash it my hair won't smell so that's a good thing and my hair will just stay sleek so what I do is I swirl it now if you don't know what swirling is um, I'll leave the terminolo terminology down below but if you want to see a video on how to swirl your hair then let me know and comment down below give this video a thumbs up but swirling your hair is almost just twisting your hair like around your head and then putting something over and sleeping with it and that just keeps your hair straight and just locks it in so preventing it from frizzing or preventing it from rubbing in that uh, on your pillow at night and then like going into knots and stuff like that so what I do is I swirl my hair and then I use this wig cap so this is like a net um, like a fishnet type um, cap which is good because it allows your hair to breathe at night and it's also not too tight to stop circulation on your head which is what I use every single day when my hair is straight and it does wonders because in the morning if you don't want to straighten your hair every day then your hair is swelled the night before you wake up in the morning take the cap off and your hair is sleek and looking absolutely beautiful so if you want to know how I do this then just comment below and let me know and I'll gladly do a video for you on that the last thing I want to talk about is the type of brush that I use and I use a tangle teaser and I've had this for very long I've used tangle teasers for many years and I'll swear by it some people say oh it breaks your hair you, they don't like the sound of it when they're brushing the hair and personally I really like it it doesn't break my hair and it doesn't damage my hair in the shower when I've got like the treatment or conditioner on my hair I use my tangle teaser to brush out my knots and it does wonders even to brush my extensions it doesn't break the extensions or tear the extensions and yeah no hair fallout so I really love the tangle teaser they're inexpensive and I know there's so many other type of brands that have come out with similar brushes but I'll leave it all down below so I hope you enjoyed this video guys thank you so much for watching all the products that I mentioned in this video will be listed down below so don't worry about that don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see future hair tutorials or hair videos I thank you guys for so much for all your support and your love and I really appreciate it and yeah don't forget to subscribe to this channel because who doesn't want to and you want to get a notification every time I upload a video I love you guys so much stay blessed and I'll see you in my next video thank you for watching Bye guys.